Got a mailbag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packages. Let's get right to it. Enameled copper wire. Ta da! It is enameled copper wire. Uh, I forget what this is a uh, point two millimeter. Looks like it's uh, like a reddish pinkish red enameled. This should be good for uh, bodging stuff if I need to. Oh. Did I open the bag? Oh shoot, I did. Damn it. All right, this is a, oh, what are these? Those are tiny. I should have opened this. I ordered a whole bunch of these buzzers. They're very cheap buzzers. Little piezo buzzers. They should be uh, passive. They make a very strange noise. Oh, oh, there goes one. I don't think they're magnetic. Yeah, so these are just piezo buzzers. Oh, don't go in there. See, packaging is not the good. Piezo elements can be damaged. So allowing these to just sit like that and puncture like that is not very good. But I got like 50 of them, so whatever. And apparently I ordered some smaller ones. These are cute. I've never seen this size. Well, these are little tiny ones. Those are really cool. I like those. I didn't know they made them that size. I've been using uh, surface mount. But now that I know they make them through hole in that size, that's I remember pretty cool. Might be even cheaper. Smart socket. I think this is an ESP, yeah, ESP8266 relay. Hell. Jeez, trim those leads. So this is made to plug an ESP01 into, and it's got a button, reset button, and a, a relay. It says it's a 10 amp, 250 volt AC, 10 amp, 125 volt AC. Uh, coil voltage, uh, three volts DC. It's got an opto isolator, it looks like, and an onboard regulator. It's probably just a AMS. Can't really see what regulator it is. It's got some funk on it. Yeah, it's an AMS 1117. Pretty standard fare. And um, it's got some pull up resistors. Um, VCC has got an external VCC and ground connection and external relay connections for the outputs. Uh, the wire terminals are rather small. If you were going to switch AC, you might ha only have to use a very small gauge or replace that connector with um, something a little beefier. I can't tell if there's any isolation. It doesn't look like there is any isolation whatsoever. Maybe on the top there is, but on the bottom there's ground plane. 
Yeah, so this is not the best. Uh, maybe it looks like the isolation there is... They could have brought these... Yeah, this is a terrible design. They could have spun this around, put the coil on this side to get these, or put these tracers closer together. Yeah, this is just a terrible design. Don't use this for anything other than um, very, very light loads. Wow, this is just really bad. This is amateur hour. I would not use this for anything but low voltage DC switching. Or for switching a higher power relay. H5642SS, no idea. Huh, that's interesting. These are some kind of um, wire management. These are really cool actually, I like these. They're wire management um, braceways so that you put your wires in and then close it. You know, so if you had them under a desk, you can uh, secure your wires and then just open it up and take them out. That's, I got three of them. So that should be long enough to support some wires. I might even just put them on my bench to run wires across and keep them up. Keep them up. Get the wires up out of the way. Or even put magnets on them and you can just click them up somewhere. Yeah, those are fit perfectly on there. And you can just attach them somewhere. Could probably use them for um Yeah, for holding tools or something. I don't know. But they were um, probably cheap compared to some other wire management solutions. And um, these would be really good for organizing uh, network cables. Like if you have a router. Or even uh, power cables, even. They're pretty big. They, they should hold some, they'll even hold some IDC cables, some uh, large power cables for computers and stuff. Very cool, I like those. Might have to buy more of those. Doesn't say. Looks like it's some kind of, oh, this is one of those GPS, not GPS, uh, Bluetooth beacons or locators. How do you get this one open? I guess you open it. No battery. Oh, well, it does have a battery in it. Okay, so it's not made to be opened. But the battery comes dead. That's really nice. This is the same as the other ones I bought. It's just a different um, layout, a different shape. And uh, let's see if I have a battery that works. Must let this up here. 2016-2025 Maybe the battery is good. Maybe there's something wrong with it. Right, maybe I just didn't do it right. Maybe you gotta... Hmm. Maybe it's not broken. <laughs> maybe I just didn't hold the button down long enough. I love how you can make a case with just three pieces. It's, it's really, really impressive. All right, that goes there, that goes there, that goes on there. 
should just snap shut. Shouldn't open that. <laughs> Maybe I put it on the wrong way. Yeah, it goes this way. Why is that hold? Oh, that's supposed to be your lanyard loop. I thought that's where the button went. There we go. There we go. I just didn't hold the button long enough to turn it on. Stupid me. And that pairs it. And that turns it off. I like these. Um, I have a generic Bluetooth app and I'll show you how to control these and how to read the uh, button. Um, you can use like a, a Bluetooth application um, to send, uh, I think you just send like a, a basic, you know, toggle bit and it sets an alarm and this goes off. So I have a few more of these. I'm going to see if these are any better, the different layout. But uh, my plan is to use these with uh, ESP32 to monitor them and use them for um, as beacons or, um, you know, when I when I move through the house, I can detect where I am and activate certain things and stuff like that. These are only like $2, I think, so they're really good for experimenting with. All right, I got a decoder board. Is it like a decoder ring? No, this is a uh, Bluetooth audio receiver, I believe. Yeah, it's got USB. Let's, uh, let's check this out. I need to get my other phone in here so I can pull up Bluetooth. got some kind of Bluetooth chip, audio chip, and it's got a, a header for audio out, which you can put this in your projects. Um, it's also got power here. So this is great for put embedding in projects because it's got a USB and a phono jack, but it's also got a header for power and a header for audio out. Um, I wonder if I can test this out real quick. I don't have a phono jack breakout. I don't think. Uh, all the stuff I have, I'm sure I have something. Breakout for RCA. <laughs> We're gonna go uh, around the world with this one. We're gonna do. Right. We're gonna go with that, that, and that. All right. Oh, 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 oh! No, we're not. Let me get that. It rolled away. Shoot. Drop it. So I used to have a big box of adapters and when I moved I lost them. I don't know if I left them in my apartment and a roommate took them or something, but so I had to recollect some of my adapters. But I used to have so many adapters. So I got RCA, I mean a phono to RCA, RCA to BNC, BNC to terminal jacks. And then I got 
think I got a speaker down here. Oh no. Uh, let's do this. Red. Black. I'm assuming this is going to keep the polarity correct, but that doesn't really matter. No, I don't think it matters. It's just a speaker. All right, so that's in there. Let's plug that into there. Is it on camera? All right, so we got, let's see if it's discoverable. I don't see any button on here. Put it into discovery mode, maybe it, Maybe it's always available, or maybe it goes in. Maybe it only goes on when you power it up. <gasps> Did you hear it? Made a beat, beat a doop noise, which is like the pairing, default pairing sound for some of these chips. I even buy cheap, cheap Bluetooth stuff. Well, it works. And it shows up as uh, XY underscore BT. And that's the pairing beep. And um, I don't know what I can play. Kind of the same. Let's oh. see on stream. Not too bad. You're definitely going to need an amplifier. It might be good for headphones. Um, well, it works. That's all I need, I need to know. I need to know that it works, and it works. So, sweet. So that's good news. Pretty cool. This would be good for like um, broadcasting music to uh, some kind of props, or um, you know, using your smartphone to control props, or hollow, you know, decorations, or Halloween, or you know, for the price of these, you can, and the size of them, you can get a bunch of them, do all kinds of fun things with them. I doubt you're gonna get good audio out of it, but I mean, who knows? You might. A good, uh, good amplifier. Connector cable. I have to be careful cutting this. Uh, there's a bunch of JST connectors. Uh, I think they're all the same size. They are four pin JST connectors. I don't know why I got them. They were cheap and um, I don't have any JST connectors for that. Size. I thought these were going to be micros. They just seem to be regular JST connectors. Oh well, I'll probably never use those. Oh, what are you going to do? Uh, this says nothing. Well, it did, the problem with these shipments is they're putting in these labels on top of the original label. Looks like they're rerouting them through a shipper. Uh, oh, these are cool. These are... I already opened one of these I received the other day. These are uh, resistor matrix, uh, resistor arrays, or matrixes, they call them. Or networks. Resistor networks. It's basically four resistors in one. I think these are 10K. I don't know what 
what size this is. I ordered some the other day. I thought they were going to be a different size. I think this is the same size. I got these in the other day. They look to be the same thing. Oh well. I was hoping to get a bigger one that's a little easier to solder. But basically it's four, sur four resistors in, uh, you know, I think these are supposed to be, one of them was supposed to be 0805 packaging size, but these seem to be 0603. I think. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, uh, maybe they are 0805 times four. No, definitely not. No, that's a 0805. That's definitely 0603 times four. Uh, and this is good. I'm going to use these for if I want to make my, an ESP project really small. You you need four pull-ups um, just to, just for boot mode, unless you're using one of the newer modules. So like the ESP12 E and F, you need four pull-ups um, just to get it to boot, which is a huge pain in the neck. Uh, the ESP12S, I'm going to I'm going to start looking into those. They're a little more expensive, but you don't need the, the pull-ups are built on, um, which is good. Which is kind of a strange decision for a module. I don't know why they did that. So they probably just put one of those in there, in the package. I don't know, I got maybe uh, 20? 20 of them, maybe? No, that's probably more than 20. Maybe 30? One more package. Uh, this is a dozen side. Oh, these are SO SOT. I think it's SO SO twenty threes. Yes, SOT twenty threes. I uh, ordered some stuff, I already opened some stuff that came in the other day. These are WS2812, I don't know if they call them 2812C, I've seen them called, but these are 2020 size. They're basically tiny, tiny NeoPixels. But these are not like the APAs, these are not clocking data, these are this the one wire serial data. So they should be compatible. I don't know if the timing's different, but they should be compatible with NeoPixels. Not dot stars, which is cool. Uh, and these are the WS2812 uh, side lights. I think they call them 4012s or 70-something, 4012 maybe? Or 40, 70, 70, 70, 70, I forget. It's a weird size. Uh, I got a whole bunch of those to play with, and I'll show them to you real quick. I'll go ahead and put a normal, uh, normal one on here just to show you. All right, so we're looking at. This is a uh, normal NeoPixel. This is a, I think these are 5050s. These are, this is a 2020. So it's, it's basically the kind of the package of a dual 603, uh, like a bicolor LED or a, R, a traditional RGB LED with the, you know, ground and the three colors, except for this is the, a NeoPixel. It's got the, you know, data in, data out. And it's tiny. I wonder how bright they are. I haven't haven't been able to test those. Maybe I can fit those on these boards to test them. Maybe that's what I bought those boards for. And this is the uh, side emitting, basically the right angle SMD WS2812s. They have these tiny little pins. The problem with these is they'll rip right off your board. Um, you really got to plate through your holes, and you got to probably glue them down. 
can't get this to pick up. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So those are the pins that you get to solder. So, and I don't even, I mean, it seems like they barely stick out of the package with the plastic. But the idea is you mount them on the board sideways and you get some side emitting lights, which would be really cool for indicator lights in a, in a, in a you know, a, some kind of package where you want to shine out the side. I can't even get to stand up. So that's that. That's what I ordered. I'm playing with some lights. I'm making a, working on a NeoPixel project um, with the ESP, and I wanted to make it really small. Um, for now, I wound up just using these because they're easy to use, and I have some, and they're pretty common. Uh, I, I also put an option to I'm gonna get a, make a footprint for these. I think I found a footprint. We'll see if it works, and just to uh, be able to breadboard this and test it out. If not, I'll. I got that. I got that. Uh, got this wire. I should be able to wire it up. To test them out at least. Oop. Let's see if they fit on there. Let's see uh, what the spacing of this is. that work for this. Jeez, I can't do this with the camera. I don't know how people do this on the microscopes. Jeez, it's hard to do stuff through the screen. Oh, jeez. That might be too, too big. Let me try to flip that over. Oh, why are these getting magnetized? Electrostatic, probably. Yeah, these look a little big. Let's, uh, See what the other side is like. Oh, that's way too big. That might work. I might be able to get that on there like that. If we can get two of them. That'd be cool. So maybe I'll do that. And maybe I can use this side for the side lights. That might be. That might. I might be able to mount those to test them out. We'll see. Pew. So, that's it for now. Till next time.